Have you joined a group or a company of people that you see is really destructive? You Maybe you thought there was a security in it or you just wanted to be a part of it or it seemed fun. And yes, it may have had some fun and moved real fast. And maybe you can gain cash really quick. But how was your conscience afterward? If you are one that has found that you have stepped within a network of people that is like a gang, a group, a cult, and you want to break the connections, you want to break the bonds, the soul ties, the attachments, let's picture strings. You are attached to these people. You feel like they pull you. You feel like even though you have made an, a, a, a connection with them, that it binds you, it ties you up, it restricts you. Have you found that it restricts you? I don't come to condemn you. You could, you could have come from a household that helped you to have wisdom, to see through everything and everyone around you and every group, collective, gang, or any any type of company maybe maybe you have eyes to see or maybe you suddenly feel like your eyes have just opened to what you have stepped into i do not condemn you maybe you were one who never got any direction so you went towards this group of people this connection this person and you feel like it is holding you back holding you down it's even dangerous to your very life if it is not only burdening your heart, but is a danger to your life, join with me now to break the pact. So I'm going to share this prayer right here. If this sounds like you, maybe it's not you, but maybe there's connections that you don't know are really not good for you. Let's pray this and break it anyway. So right now, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for our life. We thank you for our purpose. We thank you for you revealing it. We thank you for you revealing everybody and everything for what it truly is to us. Thank you for revealing every single connection and every single vibration that comes with it for what it truly is, what it is to our life. If it's an assignment sent against our life, if it's an assignment that's sent from hell and it's demonic and we suddenly see it, I thank you, Father God, for the vision, for the clarity, for the understanding for revelation. Thank you, Father God, for us understanding what it is and who it is that's truly connecting to us. Thank you for divine connections after you remove what is false. Thank you for removing the cords of the wicked right now in the name of Jesus. I break every cord of the wicked, every attachment, every bond. I sever it in Jesus' name, every ungodly soul tie, every demonic generational curse passed down. Maybe maybe this person has went into a gang, not even knowing that their father or their mother used to be in a gang, that gangs or going into this cult or collective or this company or group of people or this type of connection is something that someone who was born before them went into, someone who was in their in their bloodline, somebody who was in their family. Thank you, Father God, for we cancel every single generational curse all the way back to Adam and Eve in the name of Jesus. We break it, Father God. I, I ask for your fire to consume, Father God, my consuming fire to consume every single cord, pact, agreement, contract, verbal agreement, spoken word agreement, contract, every pact, every blood pact, every gang pact, every, every tattoo that has been given, and every connection that they have made given by maybe a verbal promise maybe they got jumped into the gang maybe they did certain tasks right now we ask for you to forgive us of our sins we ask for you to cover us in the blood of Jesus right now I cancel every pact that they have made in the name of Jesus I cancel every single agreement even by a tattoo that has been branded onto them inscribed upon them with ink any sort of agreement, we cancel it in Jesus' name. We break it in Jesus' name. Father God, I ask that you would cover them with a hedge of protection, that you would even send, I even speak forth and create beings and angelic 
beings to help and to cover them and to minister to them and to get those demons out of their stomach, out of their ear gate, eye gate, out of their vessel in the name of Jesus. You demonic spirits of gang packs come up out of them, all the way out of them, and do not torture them on the way out. You are not allowed to hurt this person, this vessel, this body on the way out. You are to go to hell where Jesus sends you, never to return to this person in the name of Jesus. I break it. I break every assignment, every satanic assignment. Every satanic contract, every satanic verbal agreement, you will never again use this person's voice box to bind them into agreements with foolish ones. Father God, I thank you that you reveal to them all the fools that are around them, every single foolish one that's around them. For you said, walk with the wise and we shall be wise, but a companion of fools will be destroyed. Father God, I ask that you destroy the works of the destroyer against this one right now. If nobody else prays for them, if nobody else wants to give them hope, Father God, I pray that a hope would be infused into them, that a protection would be sent around them. We cover them in the blood of Jesus right now. We cancel every, every, um, every, every, lash back from the enemy. Every lash back and every assignment and mark that's on their head, right now we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We send confusion into the camp of the enemy. We send confusion into the camp of the enemy. That Father God, I pray that you would hide your your children, your children who are seeking refuge. Right now we say the name Jesus. Jesus is a refuge. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. I dare you to say Jesus right now. Jesus Jesus is a strong tower. Jesus will make your brakes work when they don't work in the car. Jesus will protect you from from all assignments that are sent against you. So right now, in the name of Jesus, we cancel that every single every single assignment that is sent against these people that are crying out to you right now, God. So I thank you, Father God, right now, for you are one that we can look to, for you are one who gives us a hope and a future, for you are one to protect the children, for you are one who wants to protect the youth, even adults. If an adult is praying this right now, Father God, I thank you that you give them revelation and wisdom and understanding for their next step. Help them to find new places, new connections, a new life, a new hope, maybe even a new city, maybe a new job. Give them a new way, a new, a new resource. Dry up old resources that are sent against them. Dry up old resources that are actually to make them dependent upon them. An example, any drug money. Father God, I thank you that they that their hands are clean. We wash their hands in the blood of Jesus. Father God, give them peace in their mind. In the name of Jesus, I send out ministering spirits that their mind would be ministered to, to have peace, that refreshing, and that their mind would be made whole. Father God, I thank you that you are the one that can change our life. Our past is our past, but you are the one who wants to give us a hope and a future. You can even weave all of our mess into something really good in the end. You can even take our mistakes and and tie it up and, and create something beautiful in the end. I thank you that you are moving us and you are sending us to new connections, to new purposes, and cause us to use whatever we've been through, even to help another up after we've been strengthened in the name of Jesus. Father God, give these people connections that would disciple them, that would give them wisdom, that will just be like a fountain of wisdom that they can tap. I thank you that you are renewing their mind. You're renewing their perceptions. You're changing their way of seeing the world. You're giving them hope and giving them understanding for a new way and a better way of life. I thank you for protection, protection on their family, protection on their household right now. We cover their house in the blood of Jesus. We put the the blood of Jesus around their house. And we thank you for everything that you're doing. And that you have kept them this long and this far. Help them to 
make those healthy boundaries, to make those healthy choices, to change their whole life, deliver them from any addictions. So right now we even cancel every single addiction that causes them to um, feel like they need to be a part of a group. Help them to know that they can stand alone in you if they must. Help them to know that they can stand alone in you and do what's needed in this season. Help them to know that you are God and that you care for them. We thank you right now for all that you've done, all that you will do, and for each and every one listening and that prayed along. And right now, I just say thank you for listening. Thank you for praying along and God bless you. And I hope that you see a change in your life and that you take this new life and you go do your purpose. My name is Anna Clark. You can find me on Facebook. Um, And there, you can inbox me there. If you need to, you can share a testimony. You can share a prayer request. You can send a prayer request to me at any time, night or day. And I can get it. And as soon as I can, I'll pray for it. If the Lord tells me a message for you, I will tell you. If he gives me any prophetic words for you, I'll tell you if he tells me to. Um, you find me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Apostle Anna Clark. My name is spelled A-N-N-A-C-L-A-R-K. God bless you.